Hi, in this video we will look at what to do if the temperatures of the processor and graphics in the laptop go off the charts under load. Because of this the laptop may even turn off at the most crucial moment. I will show you how to clean it, replace the thermal paste and what temporary alternatives there are to reduce the temperature. And from you, as usual, a like and a comment. I will show you everything using a real example. After two years of hard work, my laptop no longer had enough cooling. The processor and graphics are quite powerful for such a thin device. Later you will see what kind of cooling system it has. But the point is that in the summer, in the heat, under a good load, it began to turn off from overheating. I have already cleaned it from dust by blowing from the outside. This helps, but not much. Now these are the temperatures on the processor under gaming load. This is already high, if it is more than 95, the system will turn off. For my measurements, I use the program of my direct competitor, Wisecare 365. I also wanted to add thermometers to my program, but it turned out to be quite difficult to implement so far. So, such temperatures are a direct indication for a major cleaning and even better for replacing the thermal paste. This process is simple and now we will carry it out. Disassembling the laptop. My Viva book is easy to disassemble, you only need special thin screwdriver and a star attachment. Remove the cover and here everything is before our eyes. The cooling system consists of copper tubes and two fans that help them dissipate heat. The system is also disassembled by simply unscrewing the screws. The main thing is not to lose them. The power supply to the fans is connected with small, delicate connectors. We work with them very carefully so as not to damage anything. The next important point is to disconnect the power from the battery to the board in order to safely carry out cleaning. I have a connector like this. After disassembling, there is an excellent opportunity to completely clean all the elements from dust and lint. This will greatly help cooling. After that, we move on to the thermal paste. I bought this paste and I advise you not to skimp on it either. We see that the radiator adjoins to the hottest chips. Of course, this is the processor as well as the video chip and video memory. There are four memory chips here. These elements also heat up, they are also smeared with thermal paste. There are quite a few joints, you need to remember everything in order to apply the new paste in the right places. And now I will clean all the old thermal paste with cotton wool and where it needs to be softened I will add a little 90% alcohol to the cotton wool. You can also wipe all the elements with it before applying the new thermal paste. Alcohol will clean and degrease everything well, but you only need a little bit so that it doesn't spread. Now all the elements are ready for applying the new thermal paste. It is usually sold in syringes for easy application. Mine also comes with applicator for distributing the paste over the chips. There are different ways to apply thermal paste, but given its purpose to fill small pores and scratches in contact surfaces, the layer should be thin. Therefore, I evenly distribute the paste in a thin layer both on the chips and on the copper panel. I fill all the small cracks in the surfaces with smoothing movements. Later, when compressed, the excess will come out from the sides. It is better to not to have too much paste, otherwise too much will come out and smear everything around. Experts, write in the comments your assessment of my application of thermal paste. I do not do this often, so I do not claim the highest score. Carefully return the radiator to its place, press slightly to fix and tighten the screws. By the way, they are numbered here, just so the radiator is pressed evenly. Be sure to follow the numbering when tightening the screws. Well, that's it. The laptop is ready to start and test temperatures. I launched the game CDs, it loads the computer very well. Wait until the cooling system stabilizes the airflow. At first it gradually accelerates and eventually returns to its working condition. And now the temperatures are normal not dangerous for the hardware. 
and this means that we apply the thermal paste correctly, otherwise the processor would not be cooled effectively. Repeat this on your laptop and your temperatures will also decrease. If your laptop has different design, then find a video on YouTube how to disassemble your laptop. Now let's get back to this question. How to temporarily reduce the temperature of the laptop? For example, you are not yet ready to clean and replace thermal paste, but it is needed. Here are two ways, physical and software. The first is that you just need to put something under it so that there is more air under the cooling grills. It would also be good to blow dust out of the grills with a gentle stream of air. You can use a vacuum cleaner or even your mouth. Just do it when the computer is turned off. The second software method is to configure the Windows power plan to limit the maximum processor load. The control panel, power management section will help with this. Configure your power plan and set the maximum processor frequency in it, for example 70%. You can also use my PC and P program to configure power plans. In the optimization section you can quickly switch between power plans that are available in the command prompt. I hope this video helped you, support it with your comments and also send it to your friends. Watch other useful videos on the PCNP channel.